Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 96 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. And uh, we're going to do some AE2. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I have a little bit of it going on. I have like a basic setup with a controller, a wire, disk drive crafting terminal and I upgraded my basic cable to a smart cable <laughs> because <laughs> who doesn't want smart cables um, so I set up some crafting auto crafting I guess I got the fluid skimmy cables over there uh, but what I want to do is start getting some of my basic things that I'm, I'm going to need to move forward hooked up to this system over here <laughs> so that I can have my huge base have all AE in it. That's the plan anyway. Uh, so all I have here is I have a, I did add the smart cable. Uh, so what that adds is like I think the difference is is um, please let me get some of this cable so so I can have so I can have it on me so we got this and this is like the smart cable uh, so from what I understand they like get a couple of well these guys going on right. And we have things we want to add to it. Thing that I want to add to it. Um, let's see. And, uh, I don't really know what recipes I have over there just yet. I think it's just the cable uh, because I did have the the processors. Ooh, I want to grab those. I did have these processors set up, but I wanted to move that system over to here so I could get all my <laughs> applied energistics crafting stuff here uh, if that makes sense at all I hope it does um, so what is fairly cheap I guess we don't really have a lot let's just make like a couple of terminals I guess just to see or yeah, since that's like the only one we have. Oh, yeah, let's just make 10. Oh. That's perfect. That's perfect. We can always use them for other stuff later. But this should... Okay, um... So I think what it is, is um, for each one thing you have on this line, there's a count and you can have up to eight items on each line. Ah, you see that light just changed when I added this one? But this one's blue, uh, so when I added the ninth one, you can see one of them, uh, I guess that one was closer, and this is the last on the line, so he's no longer working. Uh, so, I don't know what the difference between that and the smart cable is, because uh, I thought that was what uh, the smart cable did was would indicate 
when uh, your channels were full, right? So, see, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so there's a way that you can push this uh, limit uh, basically for AE2 you have to become the master of the subsystem uh, having systems attached to your, your main system that will do things and then so it's like a little processing plant you send your items from your network to here that sub network does its own little thing in its network and then puts puts the item back in it's just on a larger scale than like sending it to one block it's like this over here this is a subsystem I would like to hook this up. This is the, the system that I made uh, for auto crafting and the other uh, refined storage system to make the processors. Uh, so I want to do the same thing over here. And to do that, I think all I need is this pattern provider. And this is the basic same setup with one chest is the input, one chest is the output. Um, I probably could, uh, yeah, I could probably get away with it being one chest, but I think just for simplicity, this is simpler to me to have the two chests. Um, and then I had to put the output back over here to the pattern provider because the pattern provider looks like it's also the return inventory. Uh, so the items will get sent into here to go back into the system. So I need to hook this guy up. So I'm going to need some more cable. Um, I think I might just use the really long skinny cable. Um, the Fluix glass cable to get over here is going to be horrible. I might go underneath instead of uh, like all over the place. Ah! So just like, oh, dude, I need to make a so like just right up right up here oh no <laughs> that's not good um so i guess i'll have it come up like right here it's not in line but okay do this Uh, this is, uh, uh, I'll get better once, once I get more, more automations going. Oh, I need you, I need you. Let's go through first. Okay, well, it's as close as I could get, right? I do like the little outline that it shows you of where your thing is going to go. And a boot. Now that should only count as like one. <laughs> okay. um, so if I make, I, uh, I jumped ahead, okay? I jumped ahead and I made the pattern provider 
I don't even have the ability to make a pattern. <laughs> so we gotta do that. Um, how do you make a pattern in applied energistics? I know how to do this in refined storage, but um, so I think there, yes, here we go. Uh, pattern encoding terminal, a pattern provider. Okay, this is just like the base version of this block, I believe. So we need a pattern access terminal and a pattern encoding terminal. I don't know the difference between these two things. Pattern encoding terminal sounds like the one that you would put uh, the pattern into you know, um, to make the thing. So maybe we'll do this one. Is there not like a pattern? Oh, here it is. It just looks, it looks like a, a disc case, not a pattern. Uh, so yeah. How do we make a pattern? Okay. That looks, that looks, um, normal. And here, it, it, okay, it takes a crafting terminal and an engineering processor, which, you know, isn't a problem. I think I got a crafting terminal. Um, do, 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 do. I have a, yes, I have a crafting terminal, so I could just auto craft that. Suit, and we just control click and it should make hey i need two more one i don't have any of the gold ones uh so what i can do is get some silicon yeah. it's so frustrating some silicon, some redstone, and some gold. Uh, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put them over here in this chest, and they should, if I hooked everything up right, uh, they should just make the stuff and things. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's going. Um, actually, this system should automatically put it back into here. Is it showing up? Yep, it sure is. There are our, our logic processors. Uh, <laughs> cool. So all we need is to get the patterns and put them in there. And then we can tell it, uh, just like the other ones, and bam. Bob's your uncle. I always wanted to say that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's grab some of these out, I guess. And what did we need? Um, two of those, right? Applied. Dude. And Go click, boom, and then boom. Pattern encoding terminal. What? Crafting maestro. Oh yeah. See, I don't even know. Do I need this one? Pattern access terminal. We might need this one. I don't know. I don't know. Pattern provider. Let's just make this one and see how far it gets us. And if we need something else, make it. What? Okay, look at this. We got stuff down here to do. This is great. Okay, now we need the patterns. 
So let's go back over here. Make. Oh no. I don't have any. What do you mean I don't have iron? Oh, that's right. I don't have iron. Don't have raw iron over here. Uh, I have iron ore to be processed, but I have not set that up yet. So I'll just throw a little bit in here and hope for the best. I wonder, should I just make this in the other system? Oh, dude, with that. This uh, does not act the same way as the... Uh... <laughs> Why are you, oh, it's not doing the thing. No. Okay, I, I give up, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, we need the pattern. We need some not pasterns. Oh, we need quartz glass. That's right. Oh yeah, let's get two patterns. Okay, so the first pattern, well, the first pattern should always be a pattern to make more patterns <laughs> but I don't have an actual crafting system all I have is the one pattern provider that will make those three specific items so yeah I kind of need um I need to make the logic processor recipes and stuff Oh, so I am going to need another blank pattern. Um, so let's go ahead and make those. Do, 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 do. There we go. And now uh, this is going to be hopefully, yes, a processing pattern. Uh, so the crafting pattern is like there's already an established recipe but a processing pattern is it could be something you send to a furnace or it could be a whole nother subsystem where you just send it to an input chest and then you take it out output chest and this is what we want because it, it's not a conventional just send to one machine recipe it's got different inputs and outputs and stuff so um let's get what i'm gonna need is some silicon and some redstone and then i'm gonna need uh gold and and Okay, so now we have to tell it uh, to send a silicon, a redstone, and depending on the processor, like the calculation processor would be a quartz, and then that's what you would get out. So you just hit boom, and there's your calculation processor. And then you just change this guy to gold. Oops, not 
not left click, if you right click, it puts one. And then, oop. There we go. And then, a diamond, right click, right click, oops. Yeah, it does not want to right click into that. There we go. We got our first three patterns. And we just stick them over here. Boop, boop, boop. Hopefully this works. I don't know. I haven't played with E2 in a long time. So we already have like 62 of these logic processors, but I do definitely want to test this out. Um, so we got tons of diamonds. Let's just make some diamond ones uh, because I don't have uh, my quartz crystal setup again. I tore it down. I know I shouldn't have done that, but I wanted to set it up over here. And I, I lost my barrel of seeds. I, I have no idea where it went. Uh, so yeah, let's let's ask for. Oh, this does a hundred, not sixty-four. That is weird. Uh, let's ask for twenty. Uh, do I hit next? Oh, it's missing twenty-one silicon. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's just throw you in there and once again, next. No crafting CPUs are available. Oh no, so I need a crafting CPU too. Where do I put that? Um, okay, that's fine. Crafting CPU is, is it, ah, here it is, a crafting co-processing unit. Needs a crafting unit. Oh, we're missing the logic processors, uh-oh. Logic processors. Okay, where was I? Is this the base one? Um, do, 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 do. Crafting units. Crafting co processing unit. Now, do I just stick this onto here? Boink. Like so. Will you do the things? Oh, this does not look like it carries the signal. Yeah, that didn't connect. Um, does not connect. So then how is it? Do I just put it like point? I think there's an actual like crafting setup thingy that you gotta do. Uh, so let's try this again. Is that all that we need, or do we need something else? No crafting CPUs are available. And there's no storage. I know there used to be like a little multi-block structure that you had to build for your craft, your auto crafting. Hmm. Hmm. Let's 
So you got to have a co-processing unit, and I think you have to have a storage too. Okay. Storage. Aha. 1K crafting storage. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need my chest. I have the other seeds. Uh hang on a second. Let me try to find this. <laughs> It's just sitting here. I don't know why. Okay, I have the seeds now, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. But, uh, let's see. Let's get back down there. All right, so we needed the seeds or something was it in here oh yeah we needed storage missing another logic processor there we go A crafting storage. I, I'm not sure how this guy works. Uh, this obviously isn't working over here, though. So I think you have to have, like, uh, storage. Doesn't he look cute? And processing unit. Or maybe the processing unit should be storage on the top. Ooh, they connected. So do, is uh, this block, are they both unable? Oh, look, that one connected. I don't know why it didn't connect. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on because it wasn't an actual full block over there. Um, see how it doesn't connect? And then you put them both, boink, and it connects. So will will that do the thing now? Ah. <laughs> Crafting CPU automatic. Start. Oh boy. Okay. Is it doing the stuff? Oh look. It's making, it's making them sweet. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> awesome. Got our little doodads going. I wonder what the plus means. Does that mean it's making them? Or that it's craftable? I don't know. Let's see if it goes away when it stops. It did not. But see, this one doesn't have a plus. If I put that there, does that turn into a plus? It does. Maybe that indicates it's a crafting recipe. It could be you can't really tell if the items are craftable if you have some of them. 
So I guess that's an indicator of uh, the fact that they have, um, you know, a crafting recipe. So that's awesome. This is like the little multi-block structure. Um, it doesn't really have uh, like recipe storage. This stores your recipes. Um, isn't there like a, a bigger multi-block structure? I don't know. I think these are just like modules really you can add different amounts of cpu processing and crafting storage um, it's pretty cool and can get kind of intricate setting up the auto crafting for <clears throat> applied energistics um, because you have to take into account the channel limitations <laughs> so yeah um what i just like the ease of use of refined storage <laughs> it's just so easy uh but this is still i mean really powerful um to have and the channel limitations is is uh, like you said it's kind of like it's a challenge to to set up your systems using it uh, so yeah i will be looking at getting <laughs> getting better cables because there is an upgraded version to this the dense cable uh, which can carry even more channels, I believe. Um, and you can create these massive control uh, controller structures to just maximize the amount of channels that you can have in your base. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have fun i'm probably going to in between episodes maybe try to set up my ore processing for this guy uh just like i had in uh have over in the refined storage system with the mechanism uh, i may I may push these uh, walls out a little bit further to give me some more room to get some processing in here. I moved them back uh, a couple spaces already uh, and I moved all the stuff. It'll be so much easier to move over a couple more blocks. So uh, and I don't think it'll be out of range. I'm not, not sure what the range on this guy is. Uh, I do know there is a range though. Uh, so, anyway, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. We got our uh, automatic system over there hooked into our ME crafting terminal. We can now craft our processors on demand. All we have to do is, uh, you know, have the proper ingredients in there. Like, we don't have any gold in here yet because I haven't, I'm not processing any of the stuff that's coming in. Uh, I did, uh, that is the other thing that's hooked up on here is an ender chest. And the ender chest, that one is hooked up down here to this mining laser. And it's just bringing in lots of stuff. I did change uh to two green lime lasers um for one i just don't need i had the four brown lasers in there and i've got tons of iron now tons so i figured i would put some lime laser lenses in there in case that increases um 
my uranium drops. It, I do get uranium with this. So uh, if that increases it, yay! <laughs> if not, I am still getting stuff from the nether too. So I have lots of uranium. 39,000 plus. Well, I'm not getting any more. Well, yes, I am getting uranium from the nether. Uh, so I'm getting uh, uranium from the nether here. And then plus I'm getting a little bit here. It's not much. It's 700 that I've gotten since I turned this on. So that's not bad. Um, I still, I filled this chest up down here. Uh, quite a bit ago. Mm -hmm. So look, it hasn't even finished one row. Mm -hmm. And I got some more cyanide. So I'm doing pretty good on uranium. Uh, I I feel comfortable <laughs> with my uranium uh, levels. I feel very comfortable. I'm getting really close to finishing this fourth reactor. I got the the rotor shaft and uh, the, the bearing. All I need to do is get the rotors and put all the glass in the sides in. And everything's ready to go. And then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get the steam and the water over here. <laughs> uh, I did make an entangled, entangled block just, just to prepare, because I'll probably have to do something like that. Um, yeah, so I will definitely be trying to expand the system and learn more about the AE2 channels and their intricacies. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.